what's up guys so i just came back from practice and i was hungry so i was thinking hmm what can i cook for y'all because i know i have not been very consistent with the videos but today i'm going to make shrimp fried rice one serving and i might just add my little twist to it i'm just doing it from the head i'm not doing no measurements so if y'all can just like hide and see what i do y'all can like know what to do yourself you feel like you like the recipe and i hope it turns out good because it just my just what i think is gonna be good and i know y'all see it i know y'all see it my post i know y'all see a new hairstyle me we're gonna be i'm gonna be looking kind of crusty on this youtube videos for about a month now because i am not gonna get my hair done for a while and i don't know how to do natural hair like that yeah so y'all gonna see a lot of puffs maybe an afro or maybe a bonnet you never know <laughs> but y'all give me some links of some cute hairstyles or like some good youtubers that do hairstyles but let's get to the video first we're gonna add with our shrimp we're gonna add about one tablespoon of butter We're gonna let that melt down. Since the butter is melted, we're gonna add some shrimp. I don't really know how much. It's just how much you like it. Add some cayenne pepper. Add a little spice to it. We're not gonna season up that much, but since when it's all together, I'm gonna to season it up again. Add a little bit of garlic. Now this is already cooked shrimp, so I wouldn't be cooking it for long. Add some black pepper. Just a little bit of everything. Right now we're just warming this up and getting all coated and make sure your shrimp is seasoned. Now since our shrimp is cooked, you can use raw shrimp of course, but I just use cooked shrimp. You're going to put it to the side. Got seasoning in there. We're going to add a bunch of onion. We're going to let this cook down until it gets fragrant, so you have a good smell of onion in the air. Since we have our onion all charred up and you have that good old smell of onion in the air, we are going to add our rice. So this is about a half a cup of rice, but it doesn't matter what, how much rice you do. Just however much you want. This is not this is not half a cup of rice. I'm just looking at it. It's like a a cup, maybe more than. But I just put some in the pot. The thing I did is that I didn't add any oil or any butter into my rice when I cooked it, so it can be kind of sticky. So we have all our all of it mixed together. Let's add our seasoning. We're gonna add some garlic. We're gonna add some black pepper. And this is where you actually season it up. Add some more cayenne pepper. Just add some, add some little spice. You don't have to add this, but I would suggest it. Add some paprika. Just for the color. We're gonna add some less sodium soy sauce. So we don't want that much salt in this. Since we already have the salt up in our rice. 
I'm gonna stir this up. You can add more soy sauce later. See, I don't have a walk or anything. I'm just making me some like low key proud of myself. So, this is about two servings. I'm over here saying it's one, it's two servings. Um, or it can be like lunch and dinner. I'm gonna turn the temperature a little bit down. Get these all mixed up together. Now this is the part. This is the part that's gonna be kind of interesting. So we're gonna have all the rice to the side. Let's put it to this side so y'all can see what I'm doing. Have all our rice to the side. Now we're gonna crack two eggs. We're gonna get a fork and we're gonna mix it up. Try to have your egg on one side because you're trying to make a scrambled egg. Try to stay your egg over there and not put it to the rice. We can kind of like tilt it. So it can stay on one side. It don't have to be perfect, of course, okay, if, if rice does go in there. But have it to the side. Or you can just do it the, the easier way where you can just have a ready cooked egg and then just add it to it. But we're gonna just scramble up our egg. This is optional, of course, you don't need egg. We're gonna have our egg to the side. And make sure you don't overcook it. That's why I keep moving it so it doesn't overcook on me. And so I'm scrimming it while it's cooking. I don't want like a sunny side of egg, of course. But I mean, that would be good though. So it can have a little yolk, a runny yolk to it. So that is also what you can do. But I'm not a big fan of just, just yolk. So I'm gonna just scream it up. Now we have our scrambled eggs. We're gonna mix it together. Have our eggs incorporated with our rice. Now I have these little green beans that you will see in fried rice. You add that in there. And now you add your shrimp back with all the seasoning, all the sauce that you had in there. And that's it. So here's the outcome. See, I put some little chives in there. <coughs> it looks so good and I love the color of it. I think I did pretty good, you know, for my own recipe. But let me try it. Mmm. Oh, it got kicked. Perfect. The rice is perfect. I love how I made it sticky. So when it fried up, it's not overcooked. So good. It got a little spice to it. Well, that's it for the video. Y'all let me know how this try. How this goes for y'all. This is so good. Let me, let me, hold on. Hold on. Even the shrimp good. But well, y'all let me know. If y'all try this recipe, y'all let me know if y'all like it. Give me some more ideas for easy recipes, easy things to cook, really quick things to cook, really quick videos for y'all. I just want to say y'all are gorgeous and whatever I can do, you can do it too. Peace.